Our next inductee, John K. Jack Gray, Jr., class of 1949, to be awarded posthumously cross country and trek. Jack Gray was an undefeated miler and two miler for the Davidson track team. Throughout four years and 22 dual meets, Gray ran 35 races for Davidson College, and he won every time. To stem the monotony, Gray switched from the two mile to the half mile as a senior and still finished first every time. His best times were 4.35 in the mile, 10.07 in the two mile, and 2.03 in the half mile. He served as captain of both the track and cross country teams in 1947 and 1948. After winning his final collegiate race, he was named the Greensboro Daily News Athlete of the Week on May 13, 1949. You can't inc imagine how incredible an honor that was back in 1949. Jack's career work was in the insurance business living in Orangeburg, South Carolina. Jack and his wife, Ashley Gray, are survived by their four adult children, Eleanor Gray Smith, Julie Gray Simmons, Sally Gray, and John Gray III. An active member of the Orangeburg community, Jack served as president of the Chamber of Commerce, the Orangeburg Underwriters Association, and served as chairman of the Rotary Club. Responding on behalf of his father, John K. Jack Gray, class of 1949, is his son, John Gray. My name is John Gray, and this is my father. I apologize to those of you who are way in the back and can't see, but um, I love this picture because he is breaking the string. Sorry. And I got to thinking when I saw this that, you know, what a cool thing that every time you ran, that you were the first to hit it and to pop that string. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. That's what he looked like. My dad was a, a great father and a fine athlete, athlete his, entire year, his entire life. Excuse me, I'm a little nervous. He raised four terrific children. I'm one of them. <laughs> And uh, my three sisters who are sitting at this table right in front of me, I would like to ask you to stand. This is uh, Sally and Eleanor, come on y'all, and Julie. And six grandchildren, four of whom are tonight, here tonight at the table here in the middle. That's okay, y'all can <laughs> stay. Uh, I was nominated by my family to speak here tonight, but I, I must confess I really don't know that much about my dad as a student here, not any particular race that he run or ran or anything like that. Um, but I do know that my dad loved to compete, and he always loved the Davidson Wildcats. Remarkably, when I was a kid, he would take me to see Davidson play the Citadel because we lived near Charleston. And, uh, that's what we're in store for tonight. He used to call me Sport as a nickname, and he taught me one of life's great lessons, maybe the most important, was how to be a good sport. You know, like it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game. Well, that was really easy for him to say, because <laughs> he never lost, <laughs> at least not here at Davidson. <laughs> Still, though, he was a very modest and a very humble man. I did not even know of his track accomplishments here at Davidson until fairly recently. He just never talked about it. I only knew that there were some pictures in a box in a closet somewhere in our house that you only saw briefly while you were looking for something else. But in that box were pictures and newspaper clippings that told the story of the great Gunder Gray 
a nickname given to him by his classmates based on Gunder the Wonder, Hogg, the Swedish miler who in 1942 broke 10 world records. Jack Gunder Gray ran the mile here at Davidson and in four years and 35 races was never defeated. But it wasn't until this year that I even knew where Gunder came from. Not only did he not mention his track career, but sometime after my father turned 50, I found out that he was the current state tennis champion for South Carolina. He'd never even mentioned that he was playing in or was in the finals or that, that he had won. And the trophy would just find its way up into the attic with the rest of them collecting dust and going unnoticed. But today he is certainly not going unnoticed. This is a very special honor, and even though he never thought of himself as special, I think it's wonderful that he's receiving an honor that he won't be able to stuff in a box or stick up in the attic. This is a tribute that will last forever. The one thing I have always known is my dad was not only a fine athlete and a great father, but he was a man of great character, who as it turns out had classmate friends that were to determine to not let him go unnoticed. This year, many of them who are still living got together and started a letter writing campaign to assure that Jack Gunder Gray was inducted into the Davison Athletic Hall of Fame. I'm just sorry that Jack is no longer with us to know that or to personally receive this honor. So on behalf of my father, I would like to thank everyone here at Davidson, my family, and to Mr. Bobby Maynard and his other classmates, who I'm sorry to say because of weather, couldn't make it. But I'd really hope to see them tonight. But it was very notable that they took the time to make sure that Jack Gray is now very much noticed. Thank you very much.